Big Herc 916. Muscle up. Make sure you go to Muscle Up Detail Spray um, IG and subscribe to the new Muscle Up channel and represent. Links in the description. I'm over here at Monterey Car Week at the Meekum Car Auction. About to take a look at some whips for sale. Now, if you're a guy who likes to buy cars that are custom, that are already done, Meekum, Barry Jackson, is some of the places you can go to. And um, if you haven't been to Car Week in Monterey, you gotta go, man. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, share the channel, and um, let's look at some cars. Now, this is a beautiful car, you guys. This is a 58 Corvette. It's got the sniper set up. The uh, vintage ear. Custom interior. Beautiful setup, man. This is a, a pro tour right here. Very nice. You scan that code. It's got over 100 pictures and videos. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Man, clean. Art Morrison chassis. This thing is uh, immaculate, man. You're talking about something you can get in and drive across country. This is it. Beautiful. Now, this is a 59, you guys. And if you can see the difference, this has the double headlights as opposed to the 58 had the single headlights. And the grill's different. Similar body style, but different at the same time. This one also looks like it's pro touring. I'm not sure what chassis has on it, but it's a clean car. Beautiful interior. So we have here a 67 Camaro with a LT4, which is supercharged. And they're saying that this is uh, estimated 350 to 400,000. Got the exhaust coming out the sides. It's got a looks like a roll cage in it. Racing seats, custom brakes, and um, yeah, pro touring performance car. Now, this is something different. This is a Bizzarini. I've never seen this car before. It's always cool to come out here and see things that you've never seen in person. Interesting car. It's a rear engine. And um, looks like a H gated shifter interesting car man some of the cars that are out here there's so many you got to kind of pick and choose but if you're looking for something different you could definitely find it out here at Meekum hot rods old school Jags a little bit of everything super clean C10 you guys Nice. What year is it, babe? Seventy-one. Seventy-one. Sitting on air ride. Look at those wheels. Oh man, it's got a mean offset. Badass. Here we have a classic Ferrari for you Ferrari friends out there. This is a 59 250GT. It says 750 to 1.1 million. Badass. It kind of reminds me of the one from Ferris Bueller. I'm not sure if that's the same one. I think that was a California. But it looks similar. I mean, you guys let me know in the comments if this is the one from Ferris Bueller. Now check out this 1950 Jag custom build. Wow. <laughs> and this is a major cruiser right here. Look at this thing. Interior is immaculate.
clean. It doesn't even look like <laughs> it doesn't even look like an old Jag. It looks like something from a, a, a ZZ Top. We look at this motor with the side. Side throttle body. Lamborghini Diablo VT. This is the supercar of the 90s. Badass. This is badass. I've always liked these, but the inside of them just doesn't have much room for your feet. You gotta damn near take your shoes off. Now this is a exotic tent where they have all the higher end supercars. And right up on here is the Countach. Yeah, the spec on this car is insane. One of my all-time favorite cars still. Right next to it, we got the LP67. Lambo. 2014 Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Batiste. Beautiful spec. Isn't that beautiful? Color? It is. Color combination is insane. Wow. McLaren Speed Tail. Sorry about that. No said 2.7 to 3 million. Badass. Bad car, huh? Look at that. Oh my god, you sit in the middle. You imagine? Wow. Lines on this car are insane. And check out this McLaren right here. I've never seen one of these on the streets. Another ridiculous hyper car, the Sabre. McLaren hyper cars, man. And it says this is going to go for 4.5 to 5 million, you guys. Got a 2022 McLaren Elva Roaster. Twin turbocharged, 4.0, 804 horsepower. Imagine rolling in this, letting your hair blow in the wind. What you got to think about this interior? Would you take this or would you take the speed tail? If you had to pick for one, which one would you take? The Sabre, the Elva, or the speed tail? Decisions, 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 huh? You can't go wrong with the old school F40, the OG supercar. 2.3 to 2.6. Twenty twelve Ferrari La Ferrari prototype MP one. Now this is gonna go for some big bucks. Anytime you talk about a prototype car, you're talking about a one of one. Sick. Eleanor for sale. The first one I've seen here. You know these always bring big bucks. Sixty seven, and it sold. Not sure what it sold for. It said it was estimated to bring in 150 to 160. It looks pretty clean. I mean, whoever bought it for that got a pretty good deal. The Meekum auction. Wasn't as many cars out here as there was last year. A lot of people holding on to their classics, man. They know those are valuable assets going into the future. Look at this uh, Camaro right here. This is pretty badass right here. I had to get a video of this because 
I want you guys to see the wheel offsets on this 68 set of sold. And it was estimated 45 to 60,000. But look at these wheels. Wow, wow, crazy offset. But now if you look, it's got drum brakes in the back. That's crazy. Drum brakes, and this is uh, supposed to be like a pro touring car. So that tells me something. That's why it only said 60 to 80,000 because drum brakes don't really make sense on the car with this type of modification. Go to muscleupdetailspray.com and pick you up some merch.